Shorty comes back and she's like, oh, this is for you. Here's my number. And we took cocaine shots. A shite bag is a gimp and a gimp is a shite bag. The waiter dude that was hating like randomly walks by and then just starts like hitting like this robot on us and he just goes, F you. She's like highly sexual and sh which was cool, but she was also like kind of scary. Like I might die. He comes back with a f like $30 tabs from McDonald's. Bah, bah. She was mad as f staring like disgusted at Loon. I do want to see what the red light district is about. I see this one girl in a school girl outfit. She was whipping out like seven condoms. So I started getting naked. Starts whispering in my ear. Give me your sperm. What's up guys? Welcome to episode 96 of the podcast. We are almost at hundred episodes. It's insane. Thank you so much for the 1057 of you guys that subscribed to me and like the 50 that downloaded uh these podcasts uh yeah it's been nuts and um i have zorn here we have we're back you know you were on my first episode and the anniversary is like in a month from now isn't that nuts damn i should have been on that one yeah well we'll see um so i brought zorn on because i wanted to do i was gonna do a europe podcast last week kind of talking about the story but it just didn't feel the same having the other person not there or like a witness to some of the insane stories. So things that we're gonna get into is all the goofy stuff that happened in Europe, the side characters, the sayings that we came up with, and um, the red light district, because people have actually asked me about how that was, because I did participate. It's a goofy story about that. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So we went to, so real quick, we're gonna do a recap on the whole Europe excursion. We went to Amsterdam, Milan, Italy, um, Rome, Mykonos, and Dubrovnik, Croatia. First, your pick. What what would you rank the best to worst place was? I have a pick. I have a uh, list. Milan first. I agree with that. Um, Mykonos second. I also agree with that. This is where it's going to be interesting. I don't know where to put Amsterdam because we didn't really do anything, you know? We were there too short. Yeah. Probably Croatia third. I have Amsterdam third. Then... then uh, I'm I'm gonna leave Amsterdam out because we didn't really do anything. I have Amsterdam third and Rome because I had last. a weird experience. And then yeah, Rome is last for me as well. And then Dubrovnik and then but Dubrovnik and Amsterdam were pretty tied. Look at this dude getting into my stuff. What are you doing? Um, all right, so <laughs> I have a list of just goofy. Th you can also tell your side stories if there's anything that happened that I wasn't around. Uh, but this is just stuff that I've witnessed. All right, so first off. We flew out of Raleigh. This was a three-week ex excursion, or like almost three weeks. It was like 19, 20 days. You definitely think it was too much. I think it was a little bit too much. I think it could have cut short like two or three days. Um, I think the perfect amount to travel, like if you're going overseas, is like two weeks. Yep. I think two weeks is two like weeks the sweet would be spot. Perfect. All right, so we go to Amsterdam from Raleigh, and it's like the flight's at like 7 p.m., and it was supposed to be a red eye, almost a straight shot. Where did we land first, though? Iceland. Was it Iceland. Okay, so we landed in Iceland, and then we went to Amsterdam, but it was a like total flight time, like nine hours or something. It wasn't that bad, but it was overnight, and I couldn't sleep on the plane. Did you sleep? I don't think Dude. I slept on the first flight. I Dude, can't remember. That shit was miserable. Do you remember? It wasn't even as It bad. wasn't that comfortable. Like my, I feel like my ass and my back were like hurting <sighs> halfway there. Um, what was that plane that we flew? We probably flew American, right? To my Aer Lingus. <laughs> no, we're gonna get there we're gonna get about lingus my balls um so amsterdam we went to uh the flight was just like i don't know overnight and i remember we were like i'm exhausted because i'm up like it's like 30 hours now and um the first thing we did is we we checked into our uh, hotel also like the culture there is very like i don't know it was weird like the guy you remember the guy at the the host guy he was like the way he would talk how did they talk like yeah <laughs> yeah he kept saying yeah yeah <laughs> um, uh anyway so we first thing we did was knock the fuck out for real like the whole day <laughs> the whole day we landed like we got in the hotel at, like one or two and we slept to like maybe seven or eight and then um we went on a on a tinder date or like i i went on a tinder date and Zoran was that the first real, day this was the first uh, night because okay. we were only there two nights and um so we went on a tinder date uh, and I'm not going to mention any names of any girls or guys, but uh, we went on a Tinder date and I forgot where she was from, but I remember Zoran had to tag along. Poland? Yeah, Poland. That's right. And Zoran was tagging along. And the funny thing was, um, so we first went to a bar and we could not navigate where we were like to link up with her. It was like such a struggle because like the GPS system or some shit is like whack as fuck in Amsterdam. And we went to some random ass bar. Um, and the bar, 
had a guy and he was, I was like, Oh, what, what's special here? And he goes, Oh, you got like, you got, you've never been answering him. Like, yeah. He's like gin. And I fucking hate gin. And so he starts pouring shots. Like he's just like, yeah, you got to try this. This is the old, this is the new. And so next thing you know, I'm, we're pretty turnt. Right. So me and Zorn are, are a little litty. The girl comes, we, we kind of hang out a little bit. Then we, we go to a bar with a cat. Bro. Do you remember that? That was an awesome bar. That was a sick bar. Old ass dude, a bar with a cat. Um, did we do anything else that night? All right. I do remember this. Oh, before we even went out, I forgot. We went to that really nice restaurant, um, Van Couric, and we got really lucky. So we we I, we had no reservation, no anything. We just kind of showed up, said to, and she was like, okay, perfect, right? Like, we fit you in. After that, there was a fat-ass line of people trying to get in. So I was like, dude, we really lucked out. Like, we came at the perfect time. And Zorin got the fucking, one of the best dishes of all of Europe, I would say, uh, the Indonesian chicken. Bro, that shit was Slapped. gas. 10 out of 10. I don't even know how to describe the flavors. It's like just Asian, but like fall off the bone type beat. Yeah, bro. That How did they cook it? They like slow cook Definitely it Definitely slow cooked it. It had to because it, it really like, was. Yeah, it really just came right off the bone. It's like barbecue chicken style, but it with like like falling off the bone type beat, but like an Asian sauce. I don't know, but that shit was lit. And then we went out. All that shit happened. Then I uh, I left the Tinder date and she was like she was cool she wasn't really like like it was alright uh, I like kissed her and that was about it and that was like that and then um, we went to McDonald's <laughs> you remember this? of course of course so we went to McDonald's and I'm fucking like drunk dude and <laughs> I don't how much did we have to drink at this point because I had like probably because we had a beer at the first spot or a cider and then I had two shots. We also went to the bar before that where we met that girl. She gave us that flower shot. We did go to a bar before that with the so flower we had, shot. We had the, the flower the, shot the and a drink girl. on top of that. Yeah, yeah she gave us... Uh, oh, so Amsterdam's known for... Uh, like a flower vodka fuck, thing? What flower are they known for? I can't remember. Tulips. Yeah, we have a tulip, tulips. tulip it was vodka. a tulip shot, and it did taste really good. It was like a sweet little like drink. And then, um, yeah, so we, had, so we had a shot there, a drink there. Mm-hmm. And then we went to another bar. That's where we had the gin and another cider. And then when the girl came there, I think I had another drink. Then we went to the other side of the then bar. Then we went to the other side of the bar, which is like an extended, and then had another drink. So I probably had six. So I was pretty lit. And then we went to McDonald's, bro, and I was fucking fucked up. And did you get anything that night? I didn't. Remember the entire bag was yours. I can't believe you didn't get anything. You weren't hungry <laughs> at all? Nah. I got, I have a list. I got the McCrocket for sure. I don't remember what else I got, but I know I got the McCrocket. I got the cheese squares. The only thing I had actually, you bought those uh, those cheese little squares? ice cream balls. Oh, and I had one. I tried one of them. The, uh, yeah, I don't even know. What it's good. I don't know what it's described. It's like little balls covered with chocolate, but it's yeah. ice cream inside. It's like those cream puffs that you can buy, but instead of but cream, it, it was chocolate. Yeah, and it I was mean, way it was not better. chocolate. It was uh, ice cream. Way better, and also uh, I got a McFlurry. I know I did. I got, got a McFlurry. No, I didn't get him. You got a McFlurry. In Italy. I was, yeah, I got like three. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that too. So, Amsterdam McDonald's actually Fuego. The fucking McCrocket. I, you didn't like the McCrocket. I loved potato. It was okay. I didn't dislike the it. Crocket, but the cheese squares. You remember them fucking cheese squares, bro? They had fucking squares of just cheese, like mac like, and cheese bites, basically fried cheese. Fucking gas. That shit was busting. All right. So then this. All right. So we we go to sleep, but we couldn't really sleep sleep. So like we were watching like. Didn't we watch basketball that night? Yeah, we watched the NBA. Uh, Miami versus... It wasn't Celtic. It was probably before that. Yeah, who who, who did they play in the first round? Like, oh, the Bucks. Yeah, Who's Miami versus Bucks. Bucks. That's right, that's right. So we're watching that game, and then we fall asleep, whatever, right? I'm snoring loud as fuck, because I'm drunk, if you don't remember that. I yeah. do remember. Because <laughs> you recorded it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up, and then I remember it was like 4 or 5 a.m., and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I'm like, dude, we're only here on one other night. And like, I do want to see what the red light district is about. You're asleep at this time. Or did you wake up when I left for red light? Or I don't think you slept yet. Yeah, I don't think I went to sleep yet. Yeah, so I was just like, all right, I'm going to do this. So I go to the red light. Also, I fucked up because like we went to red light the next day at like 12, pump bumping or like 11 or whatever. But I went at like 4 a.m. And they close at 6 to 7. But they're like open almost 24 7s, which is nuts. Look at Sora. Hello, we got a third guest now. What's he going to do? Is he about to perch up right there? Oh. <laughs> um, so 
I, I go out there and it's like, there's only a few. So usually the red light district, if you go on prime time, there's like fucking 20, 30 options, right? At this time, there's maybe like eight, right? So I'm walking and like, honestly, a little bit of two of them are too thick, a little bit too tall for me, not really my type. And the guys that you would see in this one street of the red light district, cause it's like a, it's almost like a canal street. So there's two streets and bridges, right? And the guys were weird. They're like this grimy ass dude. I saw this old ass Indian dude, like like your old boss at the fucking shell type <laughs> dude walking out of one of them bitches. Like, you know, he got his dick sucked. Um, and I see this one girl who is like attractive enough. Like she's like kind of my type, blonde girl, uh, which I'm not usually into blondes, but blonde girl, um, she is, what is it? Uh, she's in a school girl outfit. And she's like knocking on the door. She's like, come in, but whatever, right? So I come on in and then I'm like, all right, how much? She's like, 100 euros. I'm like, I had done my research and 100 is like the, the high house they'll go for sex there. And so I'm like, all right, let's send this shit. I was trying to bargain. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, 80. She was like, no, it's 100 here at this time. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna send this shit. So we go upstairs and um, it's in a coffee shop, but you go upstairs, everything's covered. You go upstairs. And it's like these narrow, everything there was narrow. You remember the fucking stairs in Amsterdam? The tallest motherfuckers, but yet their stairs are like fucking like this big. For you remember real? that shit? <laughs> and our hotel didn't have an elevator. So we had to be like, we were on like the sixth fucking floor, dude. I think like the, they're, they were like sl- the slave stairs way back in the day. So like they had like a different setting of stairs. They're like triangles and they come out from each other. Uh, it's annoying, bro. And it's like mine. Like, if you were, like, a basketball player, you couldn't even walk up these stairs because no, they were, like, would be they only there. came out, like, six inches. And that's, like, at the very end where it's actually wide. That's annoying. Fucking nuts. And then, um, so I'm walking up these narrow-ass stairs, and it's, like, it's kind of like a waxing booth or, like, if you ever get waxed for, like, any of the, like, esthetician stuff. But it's just wider. And it's the same texture, too. She puts this, like, sheet down. And, like, it's really sanitary here. She was whipping out, like, seven condoms. I'm like, bro, there's no way I'm using seven condoms. But I realized why she did that. So she's like, she gets naked. Like, just, like, business, bro. It's, and it's weird because I'm not, like, super attracted to, like, the business way of having sex. So I'm like, all right. So I started getting naked. And now I feel like I'm watch, watching, like, a Yakuza movie. Like, where, like, the naked, like, Asian guy with tattoos just standing there. Like, a little chubby, too. Um, <laughs> in front of a white girl. And this girl's German, by the way. So she's like, you know, nine. Hell, hell. No, I'm just fine. Uh, but, <laughs> but, yeah, she, she's like, um, so she's, like, ready, right? I had fucking forgot how drunk I still was. So my dick could not get hard. And I wasn't that attracted to her. Like, I was attracted to her, but, like, I needed a kiss. And you're not allowed to kiss. So, like, I needed, like, foreplay, you know? I can't just get into it. For sure. So, she's, like, kind of stroking my dick. And it could not get hard, bro. She's, like, and then she's, like, she couldn't even put it in. Like, I'm talking my dick's, like, like, fucking, like, a pinky, like, limping. Were you nervous bro, or no? I don't think I was. It was I, I've never really been nervous to fuck, so... Except for when I was like a virgin, which I was nervous. But ever since then, I've been fine. I think it was the alcohol. and um, For sure. Plus, you went at like 5 a.m. True. I was going to say some other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, so I, I'm doing that and um, I couldn't get hard. And I, was, I at this point, I'm starting to get a little embarrassed because I'm like, fuck, I can't even get hard for this girl. Like, poor girl. And she's like, oh, you're the hard one, huh? It's you're a tough one, huh? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. And she's like, look, I don't know what I can do with this. You know, I can't, I can't fuck this. And then I'm like, all right. Uh, she's like, I can do blowjob for fifty. I'm like, bitch, she gonna charge me another fifty. I was like, I don't know if I can do that, dude. And she's like, look, I'll do it for forty. I'm like, all right. At this point, take out my little fucking satchel, little fucking fanny pack. Give her another 40. She's giving me head. At least the... Oh, by the way, she replaces a condom every single time she takes your dick out. So it's like a new condom each time. And she's using that for fucking head too. Okay? So if, I don't know if you guys have ever had head through a condom. It feels like a really nice hand job. Like a warm hand job. But it feels like a hand job. It doesn't really feel like head. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a warm ass hand job. So she's like going on into that shit, right? And, like, bro, I'm at, like, 60% hard. I can't even get, like, I'm trying to use all my fucking breathing techniques to, like, summon a Hiro Kami Kagura out of that shit. I couldn't do it, dude. And so my dick's, like, 60% hard. She puts it in, instantly limp again. 
And then I'm just like, dude, I'm so sorry. This is like the most embarrassing fucking sex experience at this point. I'm just looking at her. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. And then she's like, look, I'm going to jerk you off, okay? I'm like, okay. She starts fucking, she just wants this over with. I get it. And she's like going hard. And she's like, and then she starts whispering in my ear shit, right? And this is the most unattractive thing. So I have to almost like cancel it out. She's like, give me your sperm. Yes, give me your sperm. And I'm like, bro, a <laughs> girl, a woman saying sperm is the weirdest thing ever. That's the most unattractive way of saying cum, you know? Um, cum's okay. What That's else is That's probably okay? just how they say it, I guess. Nut? No, n- give me your nut is funny. <laughs> if a girl said give me your nut, I'd start laughing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I just, like, I summoned, like, all my chakra to just blast it out. Because I just wanted to get it over with at this point. So I blasted it out. And then she was like, don't feel embarrassed. And I'm like, how did you read my mind? You know, because I, I was embarrassed. And she was like, this happened all the time. There's people who pay even more money and they can't do this and that. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So that was my fucking red light experience. Uh, is it overrated? I don't know. It depends if you want to fuck that bad. If you want to fuck, I get the purpose of it. Like, you're kind of drunk. You're horny. You can't get laid. Then yeah, I mean, I but only went expensive. when we walked through that one night for like ten minutes. Do you remember that one girl? There was a baddie in there. That's all I'm gonna say. I got knocking, a fucking telling, come over here or whatever. For real, she looked at me and she's like, and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I did like a three sixty spin and did. My guy ain't want no problems. Um, anyway, so that's Red Light District. It was um, eventful but not like crazy. It wasn't like. Dude, I've heard stories of, like, guys who, like, get kicked out because, like, they, like, ask for too much and, like, try not to use a condom or, like, try to take pictures and shit like that. Yeah, don't fucking take pictures. Don't be rude. Um, these yeah, also, them bodyguards were looking big, too. Mm-hmm. All these guys... Uh, I said guys. All these girls... Yeah, I, I went to the blue light district. <laughs> all these girls, like, they're very... They're not from this area. They're, like, from Germany, other places, and they come in there, work, and they pay rent for that place and shit, you know? So, like... It's, it's, it was cool, though. Like, even walking around, it was really I wonder cool. how much the the red light girls make. Yeah, I wonder how much the shops make, too. You can make a lot if you can fuck really fast. Like, if you can make a motherfucker nut, because that's, that's straight 100, 100, 100, 100 bands, bro. I mean, if they're charging 100 on top of, like, there's just those ballers who go in there and probably spend, like, bands, they're making a good amount of money. I think, I think... It should be legalized. There should be a legalized district in like every country, just because once you do that, there's no sex trafficking. But I feel like if America does that, it's just not going to be even close to like that That's level mean. of sanitary. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We are gross ass <laughs> motherfuckers. All right. So, anyways, red light story done. Now let's move on to even better things. So the next day, Zoran and I uh, rent a bike. That was fun. Yeah. So everyone in the Amsterdam bikes. And then we're, in, we're, we're, we were planning on going to, uh, Anne Frank, but we, we, uh, we drove by, we did an interviews, which was interesting. I was trying to do interviews everywhere, but we just kind of like lost touch of that. But we did, we did it in Amsterdam. Everyone was weird there. Also, everyone's tall as fuck. Like Zoran was like short there. It was weird. The mirror was so fucking high, dude. I couldn't even see myself in our bathroom mirror. Dude, I, the mirror like literally came up to my neck. Like that's where the reflection started. That's nuts. Cause I think the average height of a woman is 5'10 and the average height of a man is 6'0 there, which is insane. That's average. Um, anyways, we're biking. We interviewed some people. I remember I met one, I met like a couple girls and stuff, but one guy fucking Australian dude. Dude was the a backpacker. Uber, bro. He was telling me like all this, like, oh, he's in an open relationship. He's on Tinder. And like, that's how he hangs out. He stays at hostels and shit. It was nuts. Shout out to that dude. Um, then we went biking. We went to Anne Frank. We went by to see it. And then we were, we we're like, not hungry, hungry. But we were like, we might as well eat. And we we're like, let's try Dutch waffles. Cause that's a big thing. Right. So you go to this Dutch waffle shop, random ass shop. I see this waitress and I'm like, She's pretty bad. I looked at Zorn for the confirmation. He goes, mm, just like my dad. And so I'm like, all right, bet. So I was, I didn't even think of anything of it. Cause I'm not going to hit on a waitress like that. But all I said was, I really like your tattoos. Cause she had a bunch of tattoos and she was like, thank you. Later she comes back. She's like, I like your tattoos too. Like when she serves the food, blah, 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 blah. Not thinking nothing of it. We ate our food. What, what flavor did you get? I got raisins and ch- cheese. I think I got like Nutella, Nutella banana or something. That I don't remember. Good. Whatever it was. Was, good? It was good. Yeah. Mine was gas. So then 
Shorty comes back for the bill and she's like, oh, this is for you. Giving us some gift postcards and then a slip of paper that said, um, here, like, here's my number, her number and her Instagram. And we're going to call her the waitress at this point. Just like always sunny. And I was fucking gassed up, bro. I looked at you. I was like, let's fuck I'm so glad there's a witness for this. Let's go. I've never had that experience happen. And she was bad. So I was like, um, so I ended up hitting her up and that night, what did you do? Cause we did run into you. I went to sleep early and then I woke up and I watched the basketball game. And then I went to McDonald's at like 4 a.m. And you're in the same alleyway as me. <laughs> dude, it was nuts. <laughs> I just see this white ass dude with a big ass We were on the nose. phone, remember? Yeah. And you're like, holy shit, Zorn. Zorn, turn around. Uh, was I calling you? Yeah, we were already on dude, the phone. We were talking. Nuts. So up to, before that point of running into him, uh, I met up with this girl and we went to this bar that was like weird, bro. Like it was so cool. Like everyone took off their shoes and you would sit crisscross applesauce and we took some shots, drinks, had conversations. She had a heavy ass accent, didn't know much English, like full English. So it was really fun though. She was great. Um, and we took cocaine shots. It's called agua. It's legal. You could buy it here too. Uh, it's, but it's more expensive. It's made out of the cocoa leaves that creates cocaine however it doesn't have all the chemicals that produces the cocaine but the cocoa leaves does in in have a effect with the alcohol that makes it an upper so it's kind of like tequila but more uppery so when we were feeling oh, i was like yo i was feeling great like i was like hell yeah this is awesome and then we're walking 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 we run into this motherfucker then we went to the red light district together just to walk that was that experience and then you went back right yeah okay you went back i walked shorty and i smoked weed with her because it's super legal there and we were just fucking smoking outside talking and yeah she had to go tragic story she just went home and that was that for them but she was a great person um I think that's all for us. Over, I saw Australia uh, uh, for Amsterdam, right? Nothing cr- crazy after that. Now the most craziest motherfucking place on planet Earth, Milan, bro. So, how do uh, what do we fly an Italian flight? Is that the bad flight, or is that to Rome? Yeah, that was the bad flight, bro. This dude is chilling, right? Like, all right, we're flying from Amsterdam to uh, Milan. And Zorn's just chilling on his headphones, trying to go sleep. And I'm playing some sumo game, like, whatever, where you slam, like, gummy bears. I don't know. It's fucking weird. But um, we're chilling. And I see this, like, Italian lady, like, the flight attendant. And this is, like, near the end of the flight. And they were, like, trying to talk or something. And <laughs> she, she goes, looks at Zorn, like. And Zorn takes a while to notice. And he's like, huh? And she goes, like take his headphones off and, she, and Zoran's fucking pissed because he has just kind of like woken up right he's like okay so he like takes it off then we both look to the left and everyone has headphones on so she only picked you yeah, to she's take like, your she's headphones like you need to turn them off because where the flight is landing and I'm like in my head I'm like what? I've, I've never heard that what <laughs> not once I think she had a crush on you and then I put them back on remember and I just kept going on. No, but it was stupid day. because if you literally look to the left, everyone had their headphones on. Like, big-ass headphones. So it's like the same fucking thing. I don't know. That was really weird. Also, by the way, I left my AirPods. That was miserable. The whole oh, flight, yeah. the whole trip, I, I had I no AirPods. I feel bad for you. All right, so we're in Milan. First night, we land there. We get some fucking bomb-ass food. Like, everything was good except for the pizza. The pizza was ass cheeks. You remember that shit? Um, he was, and then we, went, we got McDonald's. <laughs> Did we get McDonald's the same night? I don't think we got McDonald's in in Milan. We de- we definitely did because that's where we got. Uh, I wanted to try chicken wings, and I got the Kit Kat. I have a, a Snapchat story. Oh, bro, we got we got McDonald's multiple times. I'm yeah. tripping. Yeah, you're that's tripping. when I got that Nutella um, McFlurry. Like Wait, three did you times. Snickers or Nutella or Kit Kat? Oh, it was Snickers. You got a Snickers. I got a Kit Kat. Yo, I remember that. So we went back. That's we, just slap. So the first night we didn't want to go out because we wanted to recoup right from like the, another flight. And so we went back. We got a bunch of McDonald's. Did we go out that night? Was that the night that we went out? And we went to the Alice in Wonderland? No, that, I think that was the next night. Because we were at Milan a couple uh, nights. True, true. So um, we watched the, another basketball game. I know that for sure. Or, and then did we watch uh, Last of Us? Or was that in Amsterdam? That was in Amsterdam. Okay. So anyways, whatever happens. And um, we wake up. We're, we're feeling great, right? Like, oh, they had calzone bites in uh, Italy's... You remember that? It was kind they of mid. mid yeah. They're so mid. Um, so we wake up the next day. 
Hotel was great too. Like, like really pretty hotel. We walk out. We're so close to everything. And uh, we walk out and we got espresso. Zoran was on his espresso wave, bro. And like <laughs> cappuccinos, bro. That was the first time I ever I didn't get on the cappuccinos coffee. till the end. And I was like, damn, cappuccinos way yeah, better. Yeah, right? Yo, because espresso just tastes like bitterness. Like, it's so bitter. So we, um, I got some cap. You got espresso, no cap. And then, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, but they didn't have ice, which kind of pissed me off. And then we got paninis. Them shits were fucking busting, bro. And then gelato. Oh, I got gelato. We, we went shopping. It spent a lot of the day shopping for my sister and my aunt, blah, blah, blah. All right. So then we decided to go out. And we didn't know where to go. And I was like, well, let's go to, uh, let's, I searched up punk bars and we found this place that was like a wizard place. Yeah, wizard. It's so called we, wizard, right? Yeah. So we got, we get an Uber and it's like, f- like eight minutes out from this, from like central city. And it's like this wizard pub and it wasn't that popping, but we both got a beer. Look at this dude. We both got a beer and it wasn't that popping. So then we were like, all right, we finished the beer. We we're like, let's see what else is here. Cause there's a lot of people out, but the way you didn't like the style of Italy's bars. Cause everything's outside. Right. It was like, it kind of reminded me of like the outdoor area of like a restaurant bar. True. Like, like the, the area where people actually go out to drink or whatever. True, true, true. So, so everyone's know. outside a bunch of restaurant bars and a bunch of bars and stuff. First, I got to say Milan had, the Damn. Damn, <laughs> son. Milan had the most fucking beautiful people, girls and guys. Everyone's young. Everyone's tourist or like even if they're from Italy, they're like really fucking fit, pretty, fucking. I don't even know how to describe it, bro. It was just like you, you're like, I felt like we were in America's Next Top Model, but like everywhere we went, you know. So uh, and everyone's it's really safe too because every, everybody there has money. And clean. Oh, so clean, dude. Definitely 10 out of 10 experience. But we're at this Alice in Wonderland bar. And we're sitting there. And I got like a... You got a Red Bull drink. Right? Mm, I got that monster... Yeah, that monster drink. You got it too. Did I? I'm I got a pretty sure drink. we both got it. Got it was monster drink. and tequila, remember? Oh, yeah. You're right, probably Mon- right. It was right. like monster paradise or so something. So we're too. fucking... And the theme of the bar is fucking sick. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Everything's pretty as fuck. And I see these two girls, blonde girls. And I'm like... And I hear they're speaking English. So I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Because at this point in Italy, there's been some people who speak English, but not like English, English, you know? And I could tell they had an accent. I was like, where are you guys from? And um, we're going to call them the British Blondes at this point, okay? So the British Blondes said, we're from London. And I was like, bro, motherfucking Love Island. It's over, bro. I was like, I fancy you guys. Like, I was like saying all this fuck. I was like, you guys look really fit. And they were like giggling and shit. I was like, what do you They sat next to us. We're fucking bullying. Uh, drinking, having a great time, and oh my god, I really want to say this part, but I can't say this part. Why not? You know why I can't? I really don't. So, <laughs> uh, we took a detour. We wanted to go clubbing. I hit up uh, Mateo, uh, and Mateo and Gianluca said, go to this club, because they've been in Milan multiple times. So they told us to go to this club. It's actually not that far. Rocket. Rocket. Yep. And we, we went on a detour to the hotel to pick up some stuff. And it was really funny because there was a point where, like, the girls had to go to the bathroom. So they went to the bathroom. Me and Zora just, like, fucking kneeling, dabbing each other. Like, <laughs> fucked up as shit. We're just fucking some Game of Thrones like, shit. We're just like, bro, what is life right now? Like, we're <laughs> fucked up. We're hanging out with randos in Milan, of all places. Like, what an experience. So then we go to this fucking club. This club is so fucking goddamn packed, and it's the weirdest format. You get a ticket at the front to pay to get in, right? Everyone spoke at six, by the way. Uh, I hadn't started yet. So we get a ticket. You use the ticket to buy a drink, but when you go in the club, it's super packed, and you give the ticket to the guy to get another ticket to give to the guy to get a drink. You remember that shit? Yeah, that was the dumbest that shit was ever. The, like, the format of that took so much time. And I would have rather just not got any tickets and just paid for my drink. Right. Uh, wasn't it an EDM bar or something? Or like EDM club? Because yeah, it, like, it was EDM. Bum. It was like an EDM club. And then you go past the club. And then they have those like uh, the translucent things that you yes. see in like a fucking butcher shop or whatever. And you walk through that shit. And it's like a whole nother fucking EDM club. Dude. And that club was packed. I'm talking shirtless yeah, we, people. I remember we walked in there. We were like, nope. We walked right back out. <laughs> well, we walked in there just to get a drink, and it was a struggle. We ended up going back outside 
I was crushing on one shorty. I ain't gonna lie. I was like macking, but then I got robbed by a fucking a Dutch dude or yeah. some shit, like Swedish dude. And then, do you remember this shit, bro? I gotta show the this. fucking video of us saying that shit. Yes, bro. You could do it, or whatever the fuck we learned, bro. That shit was lit. Um, but anyway, so Zoran and I. Oh yeah, we got on a magazine, like a pretty big one. Yeah, some kind of interview. Like some girl was like, oh my God, can I interview you guys? You guys are Americans. And then they interviewed us. It was a great time. Uh, What else happened out in the patio? Oh yeah, we stayed out in the patio for the the rest of the night because it was pretty lit. I'm trying to think. A lot of stuff happened. I started smoking cigs. We met a lot of people and talked to a lot of people. Talked to a bunch of motherfuckers. I smoked a bunch of cigs. I um, I had like multiple people giving me playlists and stuff for uh, for Italian rap music. This shit, the Italian rap music. I had never experienced <laughs> this. So two things I realized uh, going into Europe, and this is the moment, and that this experience, I really realized it. One, if you have a verified check, it changes the motherfucking game in Europe, dude. That gives you like a bonus plus two, like charisma point in your fucking character building. And then fucking if you make music, which like he didn't even mean to mention, they're yeah. just like, what do you do? And I was like, oh yeah, he makes music. Like saying it to him, and they're all like, "Oh my god, you make!" Because in America, it's like fucking normal. Yeah, like makes here, music. you say you're a SoundCloud rapper, everyone's like, "All right, get the fuck out of here, bro." But over there, bro, they ate that they, shit yeah, up. Yeah, people actually were like interested in it, so it was cool. Do you remember the music they showed you though? The Italian rap that shit was ass. <laughs> At one point, I discovered some group. I don't remember what their name was. They were cool. They made like kind of like X. Type oh, actually, like that's... hard beats and uh, that's dope, but they don't have like a huge like hot hip hop scene, like not popping at least. Right, right. So, uh, also, at this point, I want to establish this is for Italy all as a whole, Rome and Milan. Yep. Every food that you go, every food place you go to is gonna be good, but there was nothing that was like like stand out because everything was great, but like consistent. It was hard to find super authentic food for us. I don't know why. Because it was tourist areas. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Everywhere we were going, it was Italian food, but it wasn't like like absurd food. Like not like pizza and po- like basic. Well, pasta. remember the first restaurant we went to that had all that slapping food? Yeah, and also we went to one fancy one that had slapping food. The fancy one. The first night, the one that we went to where we got that all that shit. Oh, that shit was good. That was, I feel like that was the most authentic. That was pretty authentic. But it was still like a tourist restaurant. Um. So we had that night. With the British blondes, lol. That was a good, that was a good night. And then we went the next day. We went to uh, woke up. We went to the Duomo on the the top of the fucking, and we paid extra for the elevator. And then even though you pay extra for the elevator, you still have to go up some fucking. Imagine stairs. we had to walk up the fucking stairs, bro. It was a walking wild. down felt like forever. Felt like I was stuck in a loop where I was just walking there forever. Dude, the elevator felt like forever. So imagine actually having to walk all those stairs. But we it was a beautiful view. People are like tanning up there almost. Like they're just like laying there. Yeah, they're just like napping on top of it. Do they have a limit on how long you can stay also? Because I feel like some of these motherfuckers are staying forever. Um, So we did that. All right. Are you ready for the next? Okay. So this, for the next like 20 minutes of this podcast, everything's going to be fucking slapping bangers at this point. Because Milan is where everything just starts ramping up until the end. And then it starts winding down. We go back out. We were like, all right, we got to go out again. Cause this it's a Friday night, right? And then um, it's also our last like full night in Milan. It's like let's go back to the same area, but let's go to a different bar. Go back to the same area. We're not really feeling like there's like no area where we're like we kept walking by areas. We're just like mm, not this one because we had a full poof, a full poof, <laughs> full proof strategy. What was the strategy again? You're like looking for young people. Yeah. Well, I was trying to find you a shorty, so I'm like, look, we're not gonna go to a bar because a lot of them just had a bunch of dudes. I was like, we're going to go somewhere where we can get an opening next to some girls for you. Just like last night. But it was tough. So then I was like, fuck it. We're just going to go here. At least start here. Yeah. And also there's vending machines with cigarettes. I randomly want to put that because we remember walking by a bunch of them. That was just, crazy. That was near, weird. Um, so we're, we're sitting by here. We're just drinking, talking. Not even meaning to meet any people at this point yet. And these two, I'm going to call them the Scottish shite bags. The, uh, <laughs> I fucking the love gimps. them, bro. <laughs> the gimps in a gimp. Um, the Scottish shut bags. Um, they were like, oh, where are you guys from? Oh, where are you guys from? Oh, where are you guys from? I don't fucking know. I can't do the accent. Yeah, where are you guys from? And uh, we're like, oh, we're from America. 
And dude, these dudes are so fucking funny, bro. Two homies, tall, pretty fit dudes, right? One guy's single. I don't even want to air out that. Well, I'm not saying names. So one guy's not single and has a girlfriend is what they're telling us. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. That's like our dynamic because I'm single. Yeah. You have a girlfriend. So him and Loon couple up. Basically, they're like, yep. all right, we're going to get some shorties. Me and this other dude would dab each other. We're like, all right, we're the, we're we're the yep. taken bros. Yep. All right. So we're, we're, gonna we're, be we're the all together. We got a shot together or like a drink or together or something. We're having a great time. And I have to talk about this conversation because... They're trying to fucking talk to me in English, okay? <laughs> I can't fucking understand half the shit they're saying. I've understood the waitress from Amsterdam who barely spoke English. <laughs> I remember there was a point where I was like, oh, what do you guys eat in Scotland? And they're like, I don't know. You know, we just cut milk. I was like, what? I had to translate for you. I was, like, I was sort of like, what? And he just kept saying, like, cut in bulk. And I, he was like, I think he means cut in bulk. And I was like. No, I knew that's what he meant. You, you're just the one that couldn't understand. I was struggling, bro. <laughs> um, they taught us that in uh, Scotland, you call girls uh, birds. Like, how we call them chicks here. They say birds. I feel like people uh, say birds in America, too. It's just not common. Oh, really? They taught us uh, a shite bag. <laughs> a shite bag is a gimp. <laughs> and a gimp is a shite bag. That's, that's that was our definition. definition. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, dude, the funniest, the next part is just so funny to me. So he's like, oh, you got a lot of tattoos, right? A lot, a lot of tattoos. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, he's like, what is that? And I was like, this is an, like anime stuff. And he's like, anime, negative riz, mate. And this, so the other single dude, and then Zorin and his friend are like, no, 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 like positive Riz, right? So this dude's like kind of clowning me. He's like, he's like dragon. He's like just straight clowning me, right? And I'm like, I'm taking it because I'm not, I just met him. So I wasn't like going to clown him. And then within seconds, bro, so we within go to the next second, bar. no, that was the same bar. Oh, was Within it? Within seconds, that girl behind you was yeah, like, I so, like your tattoos so, or something. Oh, so we had already moved <laughs> to the next bar. And yeah. no, no. So this is exactly what happens. Within seconds, the bouncer, black bouncer, cool ass dude, yeah. was like, "Oh my god, is that Naruto?" And I was like, "Yeah." And so this dude's face is kind of like, "Uh, okay, interesting." So he's like, "Oh, is that Naruto?" Blah blah blah. blah. And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." And he's like talking to me about the scene and shit. And then these two girls, Russian, one is Russian and Italian, and one is fully Russian. They turn around, and they're like, "Oh my god, is that your hero from like Spirited Away or like something like that?" And this dude is like baffled, bro. Like the dude that was saying negative Riz on anime was just like, "What the." fuck is happening right now and i was like bro you're in the old days this it's cool now okay <laughs> so these girls i'm having a great time with these russian girls funny as fuck okay so one gr the italian russian girl's feeling me i'm kind of feeling her so we're macking um i'm a little saucy and she was like hey my friend thinks one of your friends is cute and i was like and she was like but who like does any of them have girlfriends or anything right I, as a normal human being, just told the truth, right? And she was like, oh, but that, talking about the single guy, was like, bro, she said he was, my friend thinks he's ugly. <laughs> I was like, bro. That's, that's I was fucking like, oh, shit. She's like, damn, the other guy has a girlfriend? I was like, I think. I said, I think. Because she was like, oh, he, she thinks he's cute, talking about the other guy. They didn't say anything about you. So the other guy. So... Next thing you know, we're walking because we're going to go to the club, right? Oh, wait. Before that, actually, um, we turn around for like one second and they're making out. Do a girlfriend. <laughs> this girl was like, it was just like baffling. It was just so goofy. And he was like, he started like spilling all this stuff about like how his girl like cheated on him and all this stuff. I'm just like, I don't even know at this point. I'm out of this. I'm, this is not me. But when you went to the bathroom, bro, there was, well, this, no, there was this waiter that was hating on us. Not us, but like you know why he was hating though the two uh, Scottish dudes because he was trying to get with the blonde girl, yeah, the ru fully Russian. So girl. this dude looks like a value brand Cristiano Ronaldo, just him without the muscles, basically. And uh, he was the I can't remember his name. I remember Kieran, but what was the other guy's name? Oh, I wasn't saying any names. So Scottish Shyamax, oh, blank that out. <laughs> <laughs> so single taken Scottish guy, yeah. he starts teaching us this dance. And oh he's he's doing God, this dance. 
this was at the bathroom area, like right outside the bathroom area. Yeah, yeah, I do remember this. But the the waiter dude that was hating like randomly walks by and then just starts like hitting like this robot on us. And then it became a and dance they, battle. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in a girl, like a passive aggressive like dance battle. It was it was hilarious. Oh my god! And he was he was mad because. Other dude was sh- macking on a shorty that he was trying to get with. And so apparently they did a whole dance battle. I did miss that very part. But I do, uh, apparently when I came out the bathroom, like they had just ended it. And it was like that fuck you part. Wait, okay, go ahead and explain it. You were there. Oh, no, that right? was after. That was, that was, we went to a different bar and we were walking back. Oh, okay. So we're, so we're leaving to go to a different bar and then we were going to go to the club and then we walked by and then that's when. Yeah. And I'm with, ahead. I'm with, uh, your, your big little brother. And we're just walking by, but and he waits until we're like 10, 15 minutes away from them. And he just goes, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) And and we just turn around and we look at him like kind of baffled. And we look at each other and we just started dying of laughter. And this dude is just standing there in the alleyway, like the Arthur meme, both his fists clenched, just looking at us. Oh my God. And we're just dying of laughter. Sorry. Hilarious moment. I'm responding to the group message. We're supposed to play basketball. You're full of shit. No. Oh, is it ready? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go look out the window. <laughs> I just told the group message that there's no rain, but I look back and there's a bunch of rain. I, I there is rain. Well, it's kind of a lot. It's like beyond blue. All right, so we might not be able to play basketball. Yeah, so. All right. So, anyways, uh, so at this point, give me uh, a second. You can continue. Okay, so at this point, um. Oh, we go to the club, bro. We walk all the way to the club. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk. And I had realized I don't have my wallet with my ID in it and my cards. And I look at Zorin and I'm like, bro, I think I left my wallet. And um, I had my Apple tag and it did say that it was in that area of the last bar, the Ronaldo, the waiter bar. And I'm like, fuck, it's a fucking 15, 20 minute walk. There and back. So I start, I'm like, Zoran, can you at least head with me? And Zoran didn't want to crease his Air Force Ones. I almost feel like I want to wait for Zoran for this. All right, there you go. So you didn't want to crease your Air Force Ones. So this dude's walking like a fucking, like Iron the Giant. Like the fucking. I'm running like this. He's he's running like this. Because I want to crease. And I'm fucking like. And then Loon's like, do you want me to just go? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm jolting, bro. I'm sweating. I get there. I found my fucking wallet. I found it all. I was like, thank God. Also, they definitely took the euros. Remember that shit? Because there were some euros in it, and they, they definitely took it out. But I, whatever. So we run back to the club. The club's fucking closed on a Friday. But on the, the, thir- the night before Thursday, it was open, which was nuts. And then um, did we call it a night after that? I think, like, no. We went to the pizza place. With, we did with go our to Scottish pizza friends. Place. Yeah, we went to the pizza place, and then that was it, right? Yeah, yeah. So then that was it. The next day, we're prepared for Rome. Um, and all right, so we go to Rome. Okay, I thought this was the one where you got the headphones, but it's not. What is Special K? Who's Special K? Why did I write, write Special K in here? I don't know. Hold it's up, it's not ringing any bells. Special K. <laughs> yeah, I just wrote that in my You didn't notes. elaborate? No. It could be memorable people. No, I didn't. Who was like, was someone like retarded? <laughs> like, why would I write Special K? I just randomly wrote I don't that. Remember. All right, anyway, so we're in Rome, and um, I remember, all right, what is the first thing we do in Rome? We go to the hotel. Oh, Special K, because I didn't want to say her name. Um... Down bad. <laughs> so we randomly, okay, in the Milan airport, we run into an American girl that had like a Valley girl type like like accent. I could tell. So I just started like talking to somebody because there was someone fucking American there. And she's like, oh, we're flying to Rome. She's flying to Rome. So we, were, we ended up like kind of hanging out. And then uh, on the train, we sat together and she was there to see a guy, right? Which this will play a role later on. Okay, so she, so Special K is there to see a guy, and um, 
Yeah, just she she got she was down bad. She flew from fucking like America, bro, to see this guy. <laughs> Anyways, so we we get there, blah blah blah. I go on a Tinder date. Were you at home? Did you go on a Tinder date? I did go on a Tinder date. Romanian. We went girl. out to that bar with her, remember? Or was that not, was that a no, different, different girl? With special K, we went. No, no, no. That's a different. That's another night. That that wasn't the first night. No, are you sure? the first night I went with a girl that looked like your cousin. Oh, do you remember? I was probably just in the hotel. Okay, so dude was probably making music. I don't fucking know. I was, so I go, I, I go out to this cool ass bar and like with this girl that was. She just got off work and she's like highly sexual and shit. Which was cool, but she was also like kind of scary. Like I might die, you know. Like I got a both vibe, so I was like, I don't really know. But uh, she was like staying with her mom or some shit. There's like some complication on like going back, and I was like, I don't want to do that to Zorn that night. And uh, <laughs> so then that was about pretty much it. And then uh, we go back. Let me see what else. Blah blah blah. Oh, the next day. All right. So the next day, we go to the Coliseum. And we, there, the Coliseum tickets were booked, like completely sold out. And like the only one we could do is a guided tour. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, get, and give you guys some advice. Don't do a guided tour ever. So you do this fucking stupid ass guided tour, and bro, the fucking host was a character and a half. This dude was trying to tell us that he didn't want us to be late, but would tell us the longest motherfucking stories and would always say, "Oh, this is gonna be the shortened version." But me and Zora are looking at each other like, bro. Dude, he would get off topic and start talking about random stuff for like 30 minutes. But every time he went on a tangent, it added a 30 minutes to our time. And then he was like, oh, we're going to have to walk to the Coliseum now because we had to do the outside stuff first. It was like, normally I do show the per, per, uh, Persian stuff or whatever. But um, it looks like due to time, we're gonna, I'm like, bitch. If you had cut half of your story short, we would have been able to do the whole fucking thing, you dumbass. But anyways... So we're walking in the Coliseum. It starts pouring rain. Neither of us are wearing fucking jackets. We so left now, our ponchos at home. And we left our ponchos and we bought ponchos. We're fucking drenched. And um, we're, we're in line and the, the, the Coliseum is packed, dude. Like, it was annoying. Almost, It was very beautiful to see. Very sick. Very cool. Got to see, like, where well, motherfuckers we would die. But we were drenched and it was, like, so packed. And we are just like... All right, and the tour guy was supposed to keep going, and we literally saw this other group of people, like, having dinner reservations, so they were like, hey, we have to, like, leave early. Uh, we were like, like, a light bulb was like, we got to go. So, was like, yeah, same situation. <laughs> He's fucking left. And then after that, um, we met up with another Tinder date. We're going to call her Smokey the Bear because uh, she smoked a lot of cigarettes, bro. It was so goofy. And, um... She also told me something when we were drinking together where she was like, she doesn't drink water. She only smokes, drinks beer and coffee. And I was like, bro, I'm dead. And, um, but she was really nice. And, uh, I remember we went to some like concert that was going on. Yeah. Like a free they were concert. having a music festival. Yeah. There was a music. Fe- and then we went to this bar that she showed us with foosball and she fucking destroys me. Like, she's way too good at foosball. I don't know why she's so good at foosball. And um, then I think, I don't know if it was the next, I think it was the next day. I was like, Zorin, she's coming over. I'm going to need you to leave the room for like an hour or two. And uh, It was like a good two hours. This dude, bro, Zorin, gets gelato and McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> He comes back with a fucking like thirty dollar tabs from McDonald's, bro. I was like, how the fuck did you spend thirty dollars or like twenty dollars or something at McDonald's by yourself? That they had a whole. They, this McDonald's had a whole dessert area. Like you have like a normal checkout counter, and then they have like croissants and coffee and like all this other stuff at a different checkout. I'm so fucking I had to try them. Baffled, but yeah. So I uh, fornicated. And then I remember Zorin like, bro, are you going to take any longer? Because <laughs> like, I need to go back. I was like, all right, I got you. So uh, um, that was yeah, that. You were pushing it she, past the two hour mark. She all, yeah, true. And she gave me like a painting that fucking flew away later on in the trip, which was so tragic. But um, why did I write cheese balls? Oh, the cheese balls at that nice ass restaurant we went to. Oh, that shit was God. amazing. We went to like this bougie ass Italian restaurant. That was like another night. I don't remember which night, but. Fucking goddamn cheese balls they had there, bro. 
We fucking the Mykonos love Mykonos ones were, were the best. Also, we went shopping uh, and fuck Chanel. Chanel made us feel so, like, fucking out of place there. Like, at most of the, like, really nice places we went to, everyone was pretty chill. But, like, the Chanel one, they kept, like, whispering under their tongue and shit. I was like, bro, I want to get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, the, bar- the bouncer dude, the security dude was trying to tell the girl not to let you record. I was like, bro, I wasn't recording. I'm FaceTime with my sister. But anyways, because she's the one fucking buying the shit. So, anyways, um, well, let's talk about Papa Francisco. So <laughs> the whole fucking how that trip, began. we had this ongoing joke of like Soren's secret dad is actually Papa Francisco or uh, the, Pope. the Pope. And um, we went to the Vatican and we literally looked at the line, the rain, and we looked at each other and we we're like, fuck no. Like, <laughs> we went right back home. <laughs> Dude, when we were at the Vatican, like it was like, like, bullets, crazy. like the water was hitting the ground so hard that it was bouncing back up like three feet. Dude. Absolutely insane. It reminded me of when I used to jerk off and hit myself in the face. But um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we bought some clothes. We went to the mall, got some fucking clothes. I got some Naruto clothes. That was pretty Dude, sick. You haven't worn them yet, have you? I have. I wouldn't, I've only worn the uh, the tail fox button down. Have you worn any? Um, you you had you got a shirt. Yeah, I've only worn it once. That's pretty sick. Um, and then I got some socks. I like the socks. Can I? T- Hold up. So we had this thing where Zorn ripped a vape everywhere we went. So he would be like, it'd be the Vatican, the Coliseum, the fucking Duomo. And it's like, I need to upload this shit on my reels one day. He's like, vape rip at the Vatican. (laughs) (laughs) Vape rip looking for Papa Francisco. (laughs) That shit was so funny. That was funny. And then we went to, um, yeah, we went on a flight to Mykonos and uh, we went in a lounge that was actually pretty fucking gas. That was like the sofa lounge where you like kind of took a nap. It was a bunch of food. Everything was great. Um, All right. Free Red Bulls. Free Red Bulls. We snuck in hella Red Bulls in the next one. All right. Mykonos. Landed. First thing we see, fucking cats everywhere. Great. Um, next thing, the suite, which is I'm gonna shout out Crystal Views Suites. So nice. Family ran. They. Um, I thought I had booked a two bed, separate bed, and then I told them that, and they're like, "Oh, Expedia, blah blah blah." So they brought in like the whole family, son, mom, dad, brought in a fucking bed just for Zorin. I was like, "That's lit." And then, um, did we do anything that night? Well, we did walk into this the, the city, but did we eat or do? That's where we immediately ate at our boy's place. Armando. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to say his name. Armando. Dude, Armando messaged me uh, asking, like, what our favorite waiter was in the trip. Obviously you, bro. For sure. Um, 100%. Uh, so there's, it's Slovakia's story, and it's the one going into Mykonos Town. And God, that place fucking slow. Dude, I just remember we stopped by there because we were like, oh, let's just eat somewhere. So we, we stopped by there. They gave us this one like so outdoor sofa spot that ended up becoming our spot because we went there four or five times, which is the rest <laughs> yeah. of the trip. We only didn't go there once. So And I regretted it. I do. I also regret it. I sat there. He sat there. And we're like, let's try all these apps, right? <laughs> like, we got like two apps and two entrees. The cheese balls, bro. Bro, the fucking cheese balls. The, uh, the, the, the chips and dips thing. Not chips and dips. The bro, that shit was so good. It was cheese, not the cheese balls. It was cheese, and like I don't remember, bro. That's what you got, and you liked it so much that you had to get it again. I got the cheese balls the first night, bro. I gotta find this shit. I because you you loved that shit. It was fucking so good. I'm gonna find this shit, bro. I'm pretty sure I got the cheese balls. No, I got the cheese. I got the fried cheese balls. I got the fried cheese. Well, maybe the first. I don't know, but you like you like it so much. I remember you got marinara sticks one time, and then you were like, "This is this is it. This is it. Whatever this was. You remember this shit? Cheese with the lemon and the. Oh, I yeah. thought you meant like a dip. No, yeah, no, no, no. The, the halloumi cheese. The halloumi cheese with the fucking bro. Yeah, bro, that the shit's a lot. Sin. And so, um, and corn pita bread. And the first night, we didn't realize how much food they brought out, so we couldn't even finish it. Like we got the Ronaldo and the Messi. That shit was like for real endless amounts of food, and it was not. And it came with that, the cheese and the pita bread too. Yeah, and it, it was expensive, but it wasn't like expensive. It was like for how much food you got, like that's a value compared to Italy. Like that was fine. But the very last day, I got that Greek sausage, 
And I was just like, damn, I wish I would have had this every time. That was yeah. top tier. Uh, oh, they also had amazing coffee there. I really liked their coffee. Fact. Um, Then we went on a double date that wasn't really a double date because obviously you have a girlfriend. But it was I had a Tinder date that we had like hyped up into hanging out. And we were going to go to a restaurant that I used to love in Mykonos, but they, they kind of like fucked us this time. So I don't really fuck with them anymore. But um, actually, I'll fucking say their name, Promenade, because and I'll explain the whole story. So me, Zoran, uh, my Tinder date, uh, we're going to call her Greek girl. So Greek girl. And then she had a friend who was Asian, uh, but only spoke Greek, which is so weird. Uh, she was what, Thailand or something? And and um, it it was more of like she brought a friend and I brought a friend just so that like Zorn wasn't third wheeling, which was perfect. But she didn't speak any English, so yeah. Zorn's like struggling to even have a conversation. <laughs> the shit was so funny. Uh, she was cool though. And then um, I remember my date at that time, Greek girl was super like stiff, and I was like, I don't know, she's feeling me out. Like, and we had, we had, like got drinks, uh, we got some food, and then the waitress, bro. They fucked up our, our order, and they brought out the wrong fucking pasta, and they billed me for it. And I was just like, bro, fuck this place. I wrote a one-star review, too. I was like, yo, fuck this place. Um, what else happened? Did we go anywhere after that? Didn't we go to the clubs? They weren't really clubs. They were, like, bars. Yeah, I think we did go to one. And then that was pretty much it. Um, all right, the next day, Zora and I got in a big fight. Because of miscommunication. Because I, it was like, you were at home. We were, I was going to go see this other girl because I felt like that date went bad. So I was going to go see Greek girl number two, which is actually Swedish. So Swedish girl. And I was going to go on a Swedish date or a date with Swedish girl. I was like, all right, let's link up at this time. But then there was like a, I didn't expect it to go that well. Cause she ended up taking me back to her place, which is like, like nice ass place. And, um, then I'm like, Zoran, I'm going to need another hour. Cause I might get my dick a little wet and then he's like, all right, cool. But then as I'm finishing, literally pun intended, um, I texted Zora and I was like, Hey, like, where are you? And I think he wasn't looking at his phone cause he was making music. So there was like a long gap and he was like, Oh shit. All right, cool. I'm going to go shower. And I was like, all right, bet. I had finished everything with this girl. She was going to bed. Also great girl, great person. She was really into Asians wonderful for me uh Swedish chick um and then I I had left and it was starting to rain and then I remember I started waiting because he's showering and then he texted me goes I was like way later and he goes my mom was on the phone and I was like god damn it and so I was pissed and because the walk is also 20 minutes and then um I started getting mad. So I was like, dude, I, I just don't even want to go out tonight. Yeah. And he wanted to go out cause he's been in inside the whole night. So there was like that conflict. And then at this point, Zoran was just like, bro, fuck it. Like, and then I was trying to convince him to go back out and he was like, nah, no, I got that, mad. So. Cause you called me and you're like, where you at, bro? I've been waiting on you. And in my head, I'm like, you've been waiting on me. Yeah. And you had waited on me for like for, yeah, the yeah, whole day. Valid, valid. Um, so then I go back, Zoran's in his, uh, just making music in his area. And then I'm like, I got hit up, hit up to hang, to walk, go on a walk with the Greek girl from the first night. I was like, Oh shit, she's feeling me. So I was like, I left at like 1am bro. Or like 12. And we go on a walk and I ended up going back at like four. Like we like, I found out that she like really liked me. We actually bonded a lot and we like talked about like our lives and stuff. And I didn't even know she liked me. So that's why I did the other thing with the other girl. And so then I had planned to that seat and she was like, Oh, by the way, that tomorrow my roommate's going to be gone. And she works, I'm not going to say any names. Both of these girls work on the island. And if you sleep with a girl on the island, they could get fired. So that's why I'm not mentioning names. And the funny thing is like, she said that we're going to have to sneak around because like if any of the bosses find out, she's fucked. She gets fired and like, they're all there for work. Like Mykonos is a work town. It's not like they're from like Athens or somewhere else. And they go in there to work for the summer because that's where the income is at that time. So I was like, all right, bet. Next day goes by. And oh, by the way, the next day we had to leave Mykonos town because we were going to go to Tropicana, which is uh, the party area, which is by Paradise Beach, Paradise Beach and Tropicana Beach. Um, and so, so I was thinking in my head, I had clicked together. I was like, that night, I was like, okay, how are we going to make this work? Because we were going to call a taxi, but then if I call a taxi to get laid, 
because she lives in here. And I was like, wait a second. We can rent a fucking RV. Because it's like fucking $50 a day or some shit. So I, I text Lauren. I'm like, all right, what are the odds you'd want to get an RV? He goes, fuck no. I don't trust either of us on an RV. And I was like, valid. What about a car? He's like, all right, that's fine. But it wasn't actually as bad. Like, the roads weren't that bad. It's just at night. But um, so we rented this fucking, like, I'm talking bull rat looking ass car, like tiny ass little fucking car. And dude, I was so glad we did that. It was such a dope. Cause we, we ended up going back to see Armando and shit. Like it, it really worked yeah. out cause there's no good food at paradise beach. So like whipping in the whip, we were driving around Mykonos town. We're playing, um, sped up 82, 82s. Uh, do you feel Cupid. lonely? It's a Cupid song. And we're just vibing, right? 82, like, 82, 50, 50. No, it's sped up. 82, 82 is the, Bro. Oh, is that the people the who speed it up? The 50-50 is the original. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I know my, know my I was about to say, how are you going to switch up the whole damn number? Uh, anyway, so <laughs> and there was a part where we were trying to get a snap. We were trying to get a recording. Well, the music, we couldn't do it. But it just, because every time we passed something was too beautiful, old, yeah. right when we put it on, it's like ugly shit again. And so we were trying to get it right. Um, that was funny. So we landed at Tropicana. The fucking hotel is sick. Like, very pretty. They had fucking, like, like toothbrush kits. Like with toothpaste, and we, at this point, it was a struggle for us because we ran out because he didn't pack toothpaste, and so we were using my toothpaste, and we ran out at one point. So we bought a sensodyne, but like this place had their own. They had razors, they had everything, and um, it was beautiful too. Tropicana was very pretty. Uh, we ended up never going to the pool. LOL. Like that was funny. I never. It Did was you? It was too cold. Oh yeah, it was cold. But they had heated pools, no? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we so, never found the second pool. Remember? That's true. So we're at Tropicana, and the f- oh my god, I gotta pee. But can you hold down the any part of the trop like the beginning of the Tropicana? I honestly don't even remember. Are you talking about the club or what? Yeah. Um, we go to this club. It's like part of the hotel or whatever, and it's just like. It reminds me of, like, a sixth-grade dance. Like, they're blasting, like, all the old hits. And uh, you can't think. You can't hear anything. It's not really that packed because it's, like, before the summer season. So there's probably half as many people as there should be. And it's just, we were fucking bumping. <laughs> oh, oh, also, at this point, I had just... All right, so during the day, before we even go to the club, I left Zorn for a bit. He's going to make music. And I go... I forgot to tell this story. Oh, go for it. Sorry. I, I, um, I go see Greek girl cause his, her roommate's gone. And I remember I went over there. Yeah. I went over there and, um, I met up with her and she was like, hold up. There's a guy out. And there's like a guy that was like gatekeeping like the area. So all like kind of the people that were there just visiting, not like in Mykonos, but visit, no visiting for work, live in this like hut villa area where like, it's like separated from everyone else. It's really weird. And, um, I also, I met a skateboarder that's like 40 something years old, which was sick. Like he just like skates like and with his kids playing soccer, which is really cool. But um, she was like, hold up, we're going to have to take a lap. I didn't realize the lap was going to be the whole fucking Mykonos town. So we took like a fucking like excursion lap. Then the guy disappears. And then she's like, all right, good, cool. She, like sneaks out like a humongous gate door, like gets us in. We're like fucking like watching around like and all that shit there's like a bunch of little like hut villa area things and um we get into our place this is fucking hilarious so we get into our place and it's like a two bedroom very small like completely different from where we were staying like suites and like all the bougie stuff it's not ugly or bad but it's just not like nice nice living it's just like normal so we're, we're in there and she's like all right look we can't be too loud because there are neighbors and if they find out that i snuck if there's a boy in here then they're gonna know Cause it's pretty fucking obvious. Right. So I was like, all right, cool. So we're like talking like, like, like this. Right. And, um, you know, we're talking, we're flirting. She's, she's a very beautiful girl, very cute. And, um, we're flirting and shit. And, you know, one thing leads to the next and we're taking off each other's clothes. And, um, your boy whipped out a condom because I'm a, I'm a safe boy. And I remember her bed was a fucking twin bed that like creaked bro. It was like, grr, grr, grr. so like every time I would stroke, I'm talking, it would be like, ar, 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 ar. so I was like, I was like, that's like slow stroking too. So I was like, all right, I don't know how this is going to work. Cause I can't come unless I go ham. Like I just physically cannot. So I saw a comforter and I just threw that shit on the ground. I was like, look, we're going to have to have sex on the floor. 
Cause like, and so we got to put a comforter and I started clapping the motherfucking cheese. And then, um, I remember, oh God, what else happened? There was something that funny that happened, but I forgot, uh, in this moment, something sex funny. But anyway, so after that, then we go back, I'm feeling great. Cause I had, your boy got laid great time. Go back and me and Zoran, we go to the Tropicana beach. What did you say so far? Just that it reminded me of like a sixth grade dance. Yeah. So at first <laughs> we go down and it's like, it's not super packed. There's probably like 50 people, maybe 40. And, um, there's like a stage area where like some people are dancing and stuff. And then there's like a DJ with like a hype man and like a hype girl. And then there's like, uh, s- like s- servers. And then at this point we were just kind of like chilling. We were like not there yet. So we got a drink and then it, we saw Israel out uh, the fucking hype man looked just like Izzy, which is fucking hilarious. And um, I started dancing. I'm, I'm going on this thing. But you know Zora, he's not going to go up there yet because he's not lit. So he's just like, we had like two drinks. Like we had a drink and a shot and maybe a beer. I had like four drinks. Okay, so I had like three. And then and maybe I had four, but then I bought a pack of cigarettes because I was like fiending, bro, because I had smoked a little bit in Italy, but everyone was just smoking. I don't smoke cigs, by the way, guys. So I bought a pack of cigarettes there. And... Were they even cigarettes? They were like little mini, like no, they're cigarettes. They're normal cigarettes. Were they? Mm-hmm. Weren't they like black? No, I'm you're tripping? you're tripping. They're just At normal the club? cigarettes. Yeah, just I just had a uh, Marlboros. Uh, yeah, so I just bought a a pack of Marlboros and I bought this lighter. This is gonna play a role. It's a fucking torch lighter, right? So it's a really cool fucking light because I needed a lighter. So I'm fucking smoking cigs, smoking cigs, and having a great time. We're four drinks and three drinks or whatever. And we go to Paradise Beaches Club, which is right next door. So we go there just to see the vibe. And it's different. It's sm- smaller, so it feels like more. And um, we got a drink there. And there's like a fucking uh, bachelorette party yeah, or something. Yeah, and then uh, the mom was like flirting with me, which is hilarious. Like this like MILF. And then we met like those frat boys or whatever. Like the dude was like. I think that was the night after that, when we went back. No, they hit us up the night after. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so um, um, so we met some people, blah, blah, blah. And then at this point, we started getting, like, really lit. Like, we were afraid of getting, getting started getting fucked up because Zoran was watching the NBA Finals while the, like, the club was going on, all right? It's like, Indeed. that's when you know. I was. Or, or NBA playoffs. And we go to the fucking, back to Tropicana, and... Next thing you know, I'm flirting with a girl and I remember I'm like on a stage with this girl and she's dancing to me and I'm like, don't touch me. <laughs> I was so fucked up. I was just like, don't touch me. And I don't know why I said that. I was just fucking fucked up. Oh my God. I had smoked so many cigarettes that one point it dropped and the torch, like, like I burned myself like, like twice. Five times. Yeah. Or five times. I have marks all over my hands at that point. And then, um, I started talking to that girl's friend and I remember her friend, like she was talking to me like normal, but she was fucking stiff, bro. Because then I was just like, everything started going well for a little bit. And I was like, can I kiss you? And she goes, no. I was like, Oh shit. God damn. I had only been rejected from a kiss like twice in my life, maybe three times. So that was that. And then, um, Oh my God. And then I look, I remember looking away and I look back, and this is when you know Zoran's lit. He's on the fucking stage, just like, <laughs> like, like, fuck. He's like, he's like this. He did a little smile and shit. I'm like, yo, Zoran's on a fucking stage. That shit is nuts. Brought me back to high school. But um, then the next day, we were planning on seeing the Greek girl that I had hooked up with and her friend from the first night. Uh, the Asian friend, and then we were all going to go back out clubbing there and then go to Mykonos Town. Uh, we ended up going back to Armando's. Of course, it's like our third or fourth time at this point. Great food, as always. Slovaki story. Um, and then, oh my God, I have to bring this shit up. So we go to Tropicana with the girls this time. We pick them up. And um, do you remember the first was the coffee tequila, the Patron coffee shots. So at the Tropicana bar, there was like coffee patrol. And I was like, what? I was like, we took it. And I was like, that's pretty good. And then we go out to the thing and there's a pole guy, like a guy climbing a pole during the club. It's like a nerdy white dude. And he just keeps climbing this pole. And like in the middle of the party, like these people are fucked up. They're all probably American. And then there's one, then there's one clip that I caught 
of the dude. <laughs> and then it's like, it's just like a dude dancing. I don't even, I was just recording. Oh. I didn't even mean to just record him. And I'm definitely going to put it in. So I'm like zooming in on him. And then Party Rock Anthem plays. Just like, dun, 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 dun. And he goes, Party Rock. And so he's like, <laughs> shit is so funny. And then, um, then we go back to the Tropicana bar to get a, one more drink before we go out. And we ran into Vietnamese dads. Do you remember the Vietnamese oh, dads? Yeah, so we bro. met, we ran into two people and one of them went, graduated at Guilford college, which is fucking crazy. Cause we're in fucking Mykonos, Greece. And he's, he was from Greensboro and they're Vietnamese both. And like one of them's wearing like a golf hat and like, they're like, just, they're fucked up and they loved us. They're like, like we were calling them my dad and shit. Like our dads, we, were, we took a picture together. I'm pretty sure buying that dude a shot blacked him out. Cause yeah, he, we bought he a shot and, he, and then they started getting a little creepy with the girls or at least the girls felt that way. So we were like, all right, we got to go. But that shit was so fucking funny. And then, um, God, what else after that? I mean, we just went out to the club. Oh my God. We went to this one club in uh, Mykonos. Sound. It was packed as fuck. And there's not paper everywhere. everywhere. I did not like, we went outside. We just went outside. I was just like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. It was cool though, because the back patio was like right on the ocean and it wasn't like sand. So it was like the, the waves were like mm -hmm. crashing. You could like the feel patio. a little bit of it. Yeah. Like the water. It was, it was really, uh, that part of it was cool for sure. Um, oh my God. And do you remember this? Before we went home, we got those like wraps with the chicken in it. Yeah. Like euros. We ate that shit. No, it's not called a euro there. That those, but it is essentially a euro. We ate one of those and Zoran goes, I told him to buy two. I told, I bought two. And Zorn finished his rap and he goes, you're right. He goes right back inside and buys another <laughs> fucking rap. They're so good. But they're they really put like French fries in them with like your meat and then the, was it tzatziki sauce or was it a different Some sauce? Some type of sauce, bro. Whatever it was, bro. Slaps. So good. Um, not as good as Armando's, but best for like handheld food. Um, definitely good like food after a bar. Oh, Definitely. And then we, after that, that was our end of Mykonos. We go back to the airport and there's like this edgy girl working at the coffee shop. Cause we had to go, okay. This airport trip was the worst airport trip of the whole fucking goddamn trip. Okay guys. So we go to, um, from Mykonos to Athens and we were there early by an hour or two, but the lounge was closed. So I didn't fucking know that. So we're just sitting outside. There's an edgy ass girl working there. That was really pretty. And I like was flirting with her, but then I found out she has a boyfriend, but she said I was really hot, which is really funny. I got her Instagram, blah, 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 blah. But that was about it. And then, um, we go to Athens and the way that the, our flights are set up is we're not going to be able to fly to Croatia or Dubrovnik, which is our last stop until the next morning at like nine. Dude, that sucked. So we landed at like 10 PM in Athens airport. And we had to be there for almost about 11 hours overnight in an airport. Luckily there was seating. That was really nice. Like these curvature was like the, seatings. like the beach chairs that you lay on. Kinda. Yeah. And, um, we, we, uh, we watched demon slayer together. We watched a little bit of like, we watched basketball, basketball. And you were, you were trying to sleep. And I was like, okay. So I just went on the phone and I talked to a Greek girl. I just did like a bunch of things of playing video games or some shit. And I stayed up the whole time. And this is where I fucked up. So I stayed up because it's hard for me to sleep in an environment like that. I'm just really a picky sleeper. So the lounge opens up. It's like 5 a.m. And we're like, all right, let's go in the lounge. So we go in the lounge. We had three or four hours to our flight. And I'm starting to feel a little woozy, like just a little like tired. And we eat a bunch of good ass food, right? It looked oh, a bunch. Like we ate so much food. And I fucking fucked up, bro. Because I ate that pumpkin salad, uh, pumpkin soup. And I also ate that orange soda yeah. drink. Those two, I know it was those two things. One, one of those two things. It was like a sunny D. While we were sleeping, I actually did end up sleeping for like half an hour and you slept too. We were both like like awkwardly laying in like these lounge chairs and I look at Zorm, he was awake. I'm like, dude, I have to throw up. Like I was starting to feel really nauseous. Like, and so I go to the bathroom, I'm pulling trig and it's just fucking everywhere. Like, <laughs> like exorcism shit. And I, 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 yeah, I go back and before our, we leave for a flight, I'm like, dude, I have to throw up again. So I go to the bathroom, I throw up again and it's all orange stuff. So I'm thinking it's one of those two things. It had to be, cause that's the only thing we didn't eat that was the same. Everything else we had ate the same. And he I, was the I same. had that drink though. So it had to have been the pumpkin soup then. So I'm throwing it, or it could have been the lack of sleep mixed with everything. I don't fucking know. So then we go on a flight 
And we're, we're and the the way that the flight from uh, Mykonos is like there's a stair or Athens is there's stairs. Also, Athens airport kind of sucks because you have to get shuttled to the fucking airport, which sucked. So we we go on um the back of the plane and we're walking up. I had uh I was walking up and I, I go, dude, like I felt so like it was a hit where I was like, oh, because I was nauseous the whole time, but I was like, oh no, it's gonna happen. I was like, Zoran, like. I might throw up right now. Like yeah, I was like, bro, the stairs. bathroom's right there. Just go. And so I was just trying to fucking hold it. And I was like, dude, I made it where I was like, yo, can you put up the luggage? Cause like, I, I don't think I'm make it. So I literally looked at the, the flight attendant. Cause you're not supposed to go to the bathroom yet. I looked at the flight attendant. I'm like, I gotta throw up. Like I gotta throw up. And she's like, okay, wait. She like does a little locky thing, unlocks the bathroom. And I'm fucking <laughs> like, like, dude, I throw up three times now. And then uh, I threw up one last time while we were on the plane uh, to Dubrovnik. And like for the, First day of Dubrovnik, my stomach was just not settled. Like, I couldn't eat much. It was only liquids. So we we, may, we land at Dubrovnik, the land of Game of Thrones. And this is where, like, things start winding down a little bit more. But before that, we got to talk about the witches that sat behind us first. Oh, my God. Go ahead. I don't even know how to describe them. There was just, like, this woman. Like, you know when your mom keeps telling you, like, the same basic shit over and over and over, and then it, like, annoys you because she's said it so many times. Yes. This woman sitting behind us would just keep saying these obvious things to the dude with her, and I don't remember any specific examples, but, like, throughout the course of this flight, I heard her say the same phrase, like, maybe 70 times, like, and it just was pissing me off. And, and she had her knees yep. up behind my uh, my chair, so, he couldn't so I back. couldn't go back at all. He was like perched up. Yeah, I like, know. <laughs> and I didn't and even her know. her friend. <laughs> the crazy thing is I didn't know he was having that experience. Like I, I didn't know until after we talked about it. Because I, I didn't know this whole time he was dealing with that. Because that I was dealing with, I had finally slept because I needed to sleep. I was deprived. I was throwing up. So I was sleeping. And then I would get woken up by a pull back from the chair. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? And these, gr- these ladies had no remorse. They didn't even look at us. They just pulled the chair back just to get into their seat. And I'm like, bro, she did that twice to me and to leave. So three times. And uh, so we, we share that experience, blah, blah, blah. We're fucking like, we're grumpy. We're fucking tired, pissed. We're hu- like, that was the worst fucking flight experience. Like the whole fucking from Athens up to from Athens to that point, maybe even Mykonos is a little bit kind of shitty too. But like all that was just so, we were mad, bro. We were just fucking mad. We finally landed in Croatia. I'm like, all right, thank God. We're going to get an Uber. We're going to go to a hotel. And there's, all I all I see is like my Tondro senses are tingling, my nose, and I just smell fucking express cologne or some shit, like some fucking cheap ass cologne. And, I, and all I hear is, Croatia, ba. Croatia, ba. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I look behind us. And it's these two Hispanic dudes. Two Hispanic dudes. What were they wearing? Oh, they were wearing fucking ski goggles, bro. <laughs> ski goggles. <laughs> In summer. <laughs> and they were like, Croatia, man. Like, they were like fuck boys trying to get laid and shit. And um, we were like, I was like. So I was up. already so annoyed, bro. I was about to turn around and slap this dude. <laughs> so I told Zora to hold up. We let them walk first. And as they're walking up, I just smell like so much cologne. And then I was like, bro, what did we just experience, bro? For the rest of that trip, at that point, we just kept going, bah. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fucking uh, sheep noises, bro. Um, so we get to the hotel. We fucking knock out. Like, f- like, like, deepest sleep ever. Like, we're both fucking like... And then we wake up and we're like, all right, let's go get food. We went to some, like, mall thing, place, shopping center. But it had a restaurant connect, like, connected. We went to that restaurant. Uh, I got fish. I fucked up because the, the Uber driver said to get, the fish here is really good. Which I'm sure it was, but at that restaurant, it was okay. It was, like, fine. What you got was good. The, um, Trivap. Trivap. and then we got some like apps and then I tried like their version of soda, like Coke, Cocta, Cocta, Cocta. That's how you know they're gay. So, um, yeah, that was it for the first night, right? We didn't really do anything. We went to a bar. Did we? We did. What bar? Remember that bar we went to and then we kind of just gave up after that because everything else seemed like it was closed. I thought that was the next night. Was it? I don't know. But anyway, so... Maybe it was. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It was cool to see Zoran speak your language, or you to speak your language, though. I, I Zoran. thought, like, because I'm not very fluent, so I thought they were all about to just, like, be shitting on me or laughing at me, whatever. But everyone was just like, wow. Like, yeah, they thought you were someone native. who's lived in America their whole life. Like, you, 
you're actually good. Yeah, some of them that thought one you were dude, legitimately native. The waiter at that first place, like he thought we were American. And then I started speaking their language, and he was like, "Holy shit, bro! <laughs> <laughs> I did not know <laughs> like that you were that you could speak bro, this it well." It was so funny because when we were sitting there, they would talk to us in English, and like. That, like, because they, the waiters switched. Remember, the first guy came, yep. and then he came back and gave us a drink. Yep. And then, uh, like, he switched out with someone else. Dude, so the second guy didn't know. Just so goofy. I remember, like, uh, sitting there, like, they didn't know. And then the, when you... So, God, what the fuck? Yeah, like, his, like, he kind of didn't really... Like, he was a good waiter. He was bringing us our stuff, but he really wasn't, like, caring to speak with us and stuff. Right. But as soon as, like, that hit, and he was like, holy shit. He came, in, he came around and, like, sat down yep, for a second. Yeah, See, that's the thing. When you and speak Croatian. And he came all nice. And if you speak Croatian, bro, you get, like, bonus brownie points there. Like, it's just instant. Because I guess they don't get, like, I mean, they deal with tourists all the time. Yeah. But before I say that, when we were on our escapade to find food, when we first started, we couldn't find any good spots before this place, right? For real. So we were walking down a million fucking stairs, and we would go by this fucking old Croatian <laughs> lady. And what what was the face she gave? Bro, I don't, like, she, it was just mean. Like, she was mad as fuck, staring, like, disgusted at Loon. Like, the entire time <laughs> we walked past her head, like, her body's going forward. Like, she didn't turn like She's this. Like, her head is just, like... 360 like an owl just staring just loon down. There was no Asians. At I'm that over part. here fucking crying of laughter. There was no <laughs> Asians and not many tatted people in that part of Dubrovnik. So she was just like baffled, bro. Yeah, we she were like, like walking through like the back streets of like where people lived. And yeah, yeah. Homes. She would. She she. It looked like she she. Uh, it looked like my parents when they first came to America and saw a black person. Like that's exactly what. <laughs> like it was like that. They're they're cool now, guys. But anyways, um, so. We get the food. The next day, we we hit the the castle, and first thing we see, fucking Game of Thrones shopping, like area. Got I had to buy something to take a picture on the thing, so I was like, I got my shirt. Did that, and we were fucking hype. We we're like, yo, this is fucking cr- like where Game of Thrones was filmed, bro. And the first thing we do is when we go in, like, like the castle is nuts. Like it's like a legitimate castle, guys. Like all of Old Town was like. Just like the outer walls of this castle, like yes. on the inside is just like this little mini like city, basically. And to think, way back in the day, this was a legitimate like, kingdom, like peep, like king, like everything. Yeah. And I'm like that's fucking insane. And we walk, and then we stumble across a basketball court that's peeking over like all of the castle. Yeah, that dude, was that was awesome. Bro. And then you have, like you have like the ocean on one corner of the view, and then the other side is just like overseeing all like the. The shops and houses, and it was dope. You know what was the first thought I had when we saw that? I was like, if Aaron was here, we would lose the basketball. (laughs) (laughs) Because my guy shoots a shot and goes over the whole fucking thing, and now it's down the whole fucking (laughs) castle. Now it's in the ocean, (laughs) bro. We lost it in the (laughs) ocean. Um, And then uh, we we went to a couple spots. Like We we saw a couple, like, the scene spots, but we were like, no, we need to go, like, we got to buy a ticket to, like, one of the big ones. And we go to this, like fortress it's fort area and it was where um they filmed a lot of the inside of the red keep scenes so like uh whenever cersei would walk around or Tyrion was doing like deals and, and little finger so we got to see that it was pretty fucking sick we got a, um we saw a cannon and zoran like put his dick there it was pretty fucking awesome um what else then we got food yeah that's where we met my least favorite oh. person of the entire trip. Oh, stop. No. Okay, I know why. But um <laughs> so we 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 were She was just an insane. Yeah, we mentally. were we were going to um get some food and I saw this hostess and I was and she started complimenting my tattoos. And then Zoran gives me that look like, "Yo, we can switch it if you want." And I was like, "I mean, it's up to you, bro." Cuz we did see pistachio well, pasta. We were about to go to this restaurant and then you peep that girl and you're like, "She's cute." And I'm like, "All right, we're going to go there." Well, then we I'm walked like, by and then she flirted and you were like, "We can go back there." And you were like, like trying to second guess it. You're like, "We can go over there. I know you wanted that food." And I'm like, "Nah, we're good, bro." So we ended up doing that. Uh, we had a Viking fucking server. Viking ass dude. You got a pizza, right? No. I got I did not get a pizza. I think you got a pizza, dude. I remember you got a pizza. You got a meat pizza. Oh, yeah, I did. That's just slapped. It's just slapped. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember. It had spicy salami on it, bro. I got some, like, pasta dish or something. There's a lot of pasta in um, Croatia. Your pasta was good. I know you didn't like it that much. It was all right. The the next day's pasta was amazing, which is the original place we were going to sit at, remember? 
That was okay. That mine was, was good. Your pistachio one was. It was good. good, but like what I expected. Well, was you like remember the charcuterie better. thing? That shit was busting, bro. It was busting. Uh, anyway, so I got her Instagram, hit her up, and then I was it the next day we hung out with her. I believe so. Yeah, because yeah, we went to we tried to go to the bars and like because, I guess it's because it's off season or something. There was like two bars and both the bars were just like a bunch of American fucks. And they were next to each other and yeah, it was just like it was just like a it just felt like a college. They bar. were dark as hell. Like I felt like we were in a fucking alehouse, like back in Game of Thrones. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They had like one lantern in the corner it lighting up the whole thing. It also wasn't a good setup to talk to people. Like it was just like you you talk to your group kind of typey or talk to the girl that you're with or something. Um, I was still a little sick. Blah 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 blah. blah. And then we hung out with the hostess the next day, and like Soren said, she was a little cuckoo for a couple of us, but she was cool to me at least. I don't her, know. her therapist literally said that. What did he say? He thinks. She- she talks to other dimensions or some shit. Uh, yeah, you're right. I do remember <laughs> that now. So, Shorty, so that's that's all all I need to say about Shorty that. Shorty takes us on a walk, like to some weird ass like area, and then we it's like overlooking the sea where you could literally just die. Like if you misstep wrong, yeah, like the we, stairs just end and it's like a cliff. And me and her start smoking weed, and then like honestly, that was it because it was kind of like a weird vibe. Like, I didn't really get, like, a... At oh, first, I'm like, interested. I thought she was cool, like, when we were eating. But then she just, like, started, like, showing off how, like, cuckoo she was. Yeah, it was... Some of the stuff she was saying was, it was just pretty off. nice. I was like, I don't know. And then uh, I convinced Lauren to go on the cable car just to see the whole sound. Um, it was all right. It was, like... I feel like we went earlier. It would have been better with more stuff to do. Uh, we went up there, and I think that concludes the trip. Was there anything on the uh, flight back that was eventful? Because we went to, uh, was it Boston? No, no, we went to um, New, New York. York. Oh, you got a massage. My guy got a massage. He was fucking Saturday. feeling good and that shit. Yeah, I was about knocked out. I mean, I got one too, but it was yeah, I don't first. think anything really happened. Um, we watched the game. At you got bar. a bagel that you hated. Oh, bro. New, New York bagels are good, but the one he got was ass, bro. I don't know what you got. I don't know. I think it was a chain. Everything about it sucked. Like, literally from the bagel... To the egg on it. It was pretty To bad. the cheese on it. To the sausage. Like, school lunch made, like, this shit made school lunch look like a fucking Gordon Ramsay meal, oh, bro. Oh, dude. I do have one thing to talk about. So, on our flight back, we go to the Croatian airport. We had to get all our Global Blue in. And this motherfucking Global Blue fucking expert dude is the biggest douchebag of all time telling me that I that my flight isn't a transfer and we're going to Ireland, so we can't do this and that. I'm like, bro. And so, like, we went through the line, back and forth, and we finally got it done, whatever, right? And then I find out our flight is called Aer Lingus. And me and Zord are fucking dying, bro. The uh, Dublin's flight is called Aer Lingus. Lingus these balls. Um, you remember the girl that I had to sit next to? The A <gasps> smelled like mothballs. Wait, was that at Aer Lingus? I think that was uh, early. That was one of the. That was the first flight. First flight ever. Yeah. So she smelled like dust bunnies. No, no, no. That was to Iceland. The uh, going to Amer- uh, to uh, going to Europe. No, that was on the end. At the end, I know for a fact it was. I don't know because I remember pretty early in the trip you you made the you started talking about it when she was right behind you, and I was like, bro, maybe, I thought that was at the end. Maybe I'm tripping. Anyway, smell like dust bunnies. She like she kept falling. You know, like when you're falling asleep and your head's bobbing, whatever. But every single time it would happen to her, she would like get terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm over here just like getting bothered yeah, because seat. her it's just a bunch of shaking and rattling nonstop the entire trip, and then at one point. I don't. I think she was asleep, and uh, the flight attendant was telling her she had to put her seat back up because we were about to land. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, remember, I remember this, bro. <laughs> and she got so fucking terrified this time when the flight attendant like touched her arm. Yep, bro. Th- she smelled really bad. I remember I smelled her too, and um, I just remember I just felt bad for her. Like, why was she so terrified? When of we were everything? in the Iceland airport because we were gonna go get food, and we were like just standing. You start telling me that story, <laughs> yeah. and I look behind him, and it's fucking her, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> oh, well. Hope she's doing well, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't, I don't hate her Old or anything like that, but um, that was then, just fucking hilarious. JFK, and then JFK 
back to Raleigh. That was it. That was our Europe escapade. It was a good episode. Anything else you got to say to the world? I'm watching Black Clover right now. Hell yeah. Yami's the best. And then after Yami, it's probably Asta. Now it's probably... Oh, the, the third is tough. Because I fuck with Charmy. I fuck with Luck. One of those two, probably. I'm trying to think of who else I really like. I haven't seen Leopold, uh, or whatever his name is. The young one or the old one? The, the arm missing one. Um, Wait, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, but you saw him when he lost his arm and shit. Yeah, and that was it. And then he's still in the hospital or some shit right now. Um, Demon Slayer is still going on. Uh, you haven't seen the latest episode. How do you episode. feel about that villain? Which one? The one that you don't know. The one with the they cut his oh, arm off. Are we talking about Black Clover? Yeah. I thought we did know him. You do know him? I don't know. I, I thought it was like, which is the 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 leader of the um the third eye of the what the fuck the leader of the group. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not remembering what happened because because he 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 said when Yami battled him, he said he was the one to blast it off. Because there's the third eye, which is the three people. One is the of of, and then he, there's the leader of them. So what happened when he got his arm missing? Didn't they show that? So th- when he got his arm blasted off, they didn't show the person. But yeah, it was in all light. Wrong. But then later on, when Yami faced them for the first time, he was like, this had to have been the guy to blast it off. And he said that he was the one. That happened earlier. Okay, facts. Unless yeah, there's yeah, someone else mind. secretly. I, it's been a long time that I've watched, so I don't, I don't even remember. You need to watch a recap because the I know, next I told you I'm going to watch it. Up. Yeah. Um, what else? Have you been back on anime or no? You're so off. I mean, I'm watching Demon Slayer and um, Vinland Saga as they're coming out. Demon Slayer comes out on Sundays and then Vinland on Monday. True. So you don't have any, like, reoccurring one that you're watching? Nope. Gotta get on Chainsaw, bro. Something about it. I just can't get started, you know? I don't want to start and then... That's how I was with Black Clover. And then I forced myself to get through the beginning. Because the beginning of any anime I saw I tried to watch something recently. I tried to watch You watched uh, Dr. Stone. I saw it on the. Oh account. yeah, I gave up on that within like. I heard it was really good. Minutes. I know, but I, I the first episode did not. That's catch probably going to be the same thing for all. Chainsaw, and um, for Black Clover was like. That. No, I tried to watch Tower of God, the which I that? heard was really good. What was that about? Couldn't tell you. Bunch of gods. The first episode was so fucking boring. Yeah, but that's how all anime is, no. bro. Black Clover's first two three episodes suck. There's literally a whole uh, there's a whole Crunchyroll section that is, like amazing first episodes. And is Black Clover in there? Because it better not be. I don't know. There's no way. I know the whole first Attack on Titan is in it, which is true because like the first episode is pretty crazy. It's funny because like Attack on Titan, the first episode is it catches you, and then like the entire rest of the season until the end is like boring. Yeah, it's not ass. It's it's just kind of boring. I remember that's when they introduced the Titans and shit. The whole concept of that. But yeah, it's it was it's interesting. Like even though it's like slow and not much action is happening, you're kind of learning a lot of uh, of the lore. Blue and Lock stuff. was ass. <laughs> it was okay. It was just like I don't like animes when they like aren't seriously developing characters and stuff. You know, like there's just some animes where they're like funny and this and that, and they have like cool characters and cool fighting. Right. But it never really like Progresses. expands on, no on the development. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty mid. I don't like any anime that's that of seven that deadly nature. sins. Those animes I didn't really fuck with. Yeah. But I got a poop, so we're gonna call it. Bye guys. Thank Peace. you for watching. Peace.